Hey everyone, welcome back to Body and Globe. Subscribe to our channel for the best content about health, fitness, and travel. If you are new to running, it's easy to fall into bad habits. But with a few tips and techniques, you can become a better runner. If you are just starting out on your running journey or looking to improve your technique, then this video is for you. We will cover everything from proper form and pacing to finding the right shoes and clothing. So let's get started. Number one, get the right gear. Before you hit the pavement or the trail, make sure you have the right gear. Invest in a good pair of running shoes that fit well, are comfortable, and provide adequate support and cushioning for your feet. The wrong shoes can lead to injuries and discomfort, so take the time to find the right pair. In addition to shoes, consider other essentials such as comfortable and breathable clothing, a water bottle or hydration pack, and a good quality running watch or app to track your progress. Number two. Start slow and gradually increase intensity. It's important to start slow and gradually increase your intensity and distance. Don't try to run too far or too fast too soon. Start with a walk-run program where you alternate between walking and running. For example, start with 30 seconds of running followed by one minute of walking and gradually increase the running time while decreasing the walking time. Number three, warm up and cool down. Before you start running, make sure you warm up by doing some dynamic stretches and light jogging to get your muscles and joints ready for the exercise. Similarly, at the end of your run, make sure you cool down by walking for a few minutes and doing some static stretches to prevent injury and soreness. Number four, focus on form. Good running form can help you run more efficiently and prevent injury. Keep your head up, shoulders back, and arms at a 90 degree angle. Keeping your head up is one of the most important things to do while running. When you tilt your chin down or look down, it puts stress on your neck and shoulder muscles. This can lead to tension, a limited airway and fatigue. To be more efficient while running, set your gaze directly ahead of you scanning the horizon about 10-20 meters in front of you. Keeping your shoulders back keeps them from squeezing together, which is the main cause of shoulder pain. When your shoulders squeeze together, it takes extra energy to move them and causes tension in your middle trapezius muscle and lower trapezius muscles. This also affects the movement of your rib cage. This makes breathing hotter and reduces efficiency in your running form. Keeping your feet flat while running can help reduce the braking forces you feel on your feet. This will keep your body from being overworked and causing stress. When your foot rolls inwards too much, it can put stress and pain on the ankles, lower leg, knees and hips. This can cause problems such as shin splints and back pain. Keeping your knees slightly bent and your feet moving helps to reduce the impact of every footfall. Many runners overstride and straighten their leg in front of them as they land, which can be harmful to the knee joint. Bending the front knee helps to absorb shock, which in turn can protect your knee from overuse injuries, like runner's knee or plantar fasciitis. When you run, it is crucial to keep your body aligned. This is important so your muscles can effectively and efficiently work. Beginners often have a tendency to lean forwards during running, which is not the best way to run. Runners should always maintain a good posture while running, and the position of their hips is key to this. Number five, listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels during and after your runs. If you experience pain or discomfort, slow down or take a break. If you feel tired or fatigued, Take a rest day. Don't push yourself too hard too soon or you risk injury and burnout. Number six, set realistic goals. Setting goals can help keep you motivated and on track. However, make sure your goals are realistic and achievable. Don't aim to run a marathon within a month of starting your running journey. 
Start with small goals, such as running a mile without stopping, and gradually increase your distance and speed. Number 7. Incorporate strength training. Strength training can help improve your running performance and prevent injury. Focus on exercises that target your legs, core, and upper body, such as squats, lunges, planks, and push-ups. Aim to strength train two to three times a week. Number eight, mix it up. Variety is key to keeping your running routine interesting and challenging. Mix up your routes, terrain, and running surfaces. Try running on trails, hills, and tracks. You can also incorporate interval training, tempo runs, and hill repeats to challenge yourself and improve your fitness. Number nine, stay hydrated and fueled. Make sure you stay hydrated before, during, and after your runs. Drink plenty of water and consider a sports drink or electrolyte replacement if you're running for longer than an hour. Also, make sure you fuel your body with the right foods to support your running efforts. Aim for a balanced diet that includes carbohydrates, protein, and healthy fats. Number 10. Be consistent. For beginners, it's important to be consistent with your running routine. Make running a regular part of your schedule and aim to run at least three to four times a week. Consistency is key to seeing progress in your running, as it allows your body to adapt and improve over time. It's better to run for shorter distances or times but more frequently, rather than running long distances infrequently. Even if you don't feel like running on a particular day, try to stick to your schedule and get out there anyway. Being consistent with your running will not only improve your fitness and performance, but also help you establish a healthy habit that you can maintain in the long term. We hope you found these tips and techniques helpful as you begin your running journey. Remember, running is a great way to improve your physical and mental health, but it is important to start slowly and build up gradually to avoid injury. Focus on proper form, pacing, and listen to your body. With time and practice, you will be amazed at how far you can go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay healthy, stay active, and we'll see you in the next video.